okay welcome back um, what we're gonna look at now is we're gonna look at um, loops and we're gonna look at two times of loop we're gonna look at a controlled one first of all um, on the two lines of code plus the uh, hashtag comment that's on the screen we've got uh, a counter in range one to four so what it's going to do is going to print that output until it comes to the end of that controlled loop so if we run that one now and we run it what we'll see on the output is it ran that three times and then it stopped um, so that's a controlled loop we can control it I could change that as many times as uh, I want to put it up to six so it'll print it five times if I run that okay you see it prints it out five times change that back um, another loop we can look at is that of a while loop um, and on this example here I'm quite sure why I chose animals, but I chose animals as my variable and I've set that, initialized it to zero. I've set the answer to Y, to yes. And then we have something called a while loop here. And during this while loop, it's looking at this condition here um, and seeing if, if whether or not it's been met, because it's got two equal signs. So it's saying uh, while the answer is set to Y, and as we initially set it to Y, um, it's not going to change. Um, from what it's initially set up and then it's asked you to input kind of a Y or an N depending on whether you want to add uh, this is there's one animal on the list already or do you want to add another one and what it will do is as it runs through that if you do put uh, a Y it'll then change that variable by one and keep going through and changing it by one um, and then on the output we've got here SDR for the string um, which is good practice really to define um, change that as a string because otherwise it's going to confuse it because we've got two two different data types because we've already got a string on this list um, and it'll print out how many are on the list um, once you jump out of that loop by hitting the n and changing it to n because it's no longer going to do it it'll print the final line okay let's just clear that from the last one um, so what I'll do first of all we'll just we'll just run it the once and it says uh, there's one animal on the list do you want to add another one I'm going to say yes Okay, this asked me again, and I said yes. Do you want to add another one? And you can see at the bottom here it said there's one on the list, there's now two on the list. Uh, now I'm going to say no. And it jumps out, and it says there are three on the list. Let's just run through that again. Okay, so we've got, we run it there once. So we put there's one already on the list, there's now two. There's now three. There's now three on the list because we put no more. So it went one on the list, two on the list, three on the list, and then have no more animals on the list. Okay, so that it are. We've just looked at a simple controlled loop and a very simple while loop. Okay, again, if there's any, if you want notification of the videos, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get a notification as soon as one goes up. Um, I'm trying to put as many up as I can at the moment. Again, if you put some comments on. Um, to answer any questions or if there's any simple tasks you want added to this introduction to Python, let me know.